Well, what, what does he have the, the radar detector for? Well, I don't know why you would use that. <laughs> Not even car goes fast. Yeah. The open wheel bug. Hell yeah. And his trailer. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, dude, why don't... I have no idea. What year is it? 2018. 2018. 2018. <laughs> no way. Brand new. No way. <gasps> it is. No joke. Good morning, everyone. Today we have something really special planned. The Deutschmarks. Uh, auto show at the Gilmore Car Museum. It's the largest German auto show in the entire US. Happens once a year. They skipped last year due to COVID and so I've been really excited and, uh, and amped for this event. It's also the first year that I have a car to run uh, in my VW Phaeton and before we do that she's going to need a serious bath. This being a Bentley, essentially, underneath, it's got Bentley-sized calipers uh, for all the weight there, and they cause a ridiculous amount of brake dust. If you look at the back, I mean, it's just night and day difference. So, we've got to get that cleaned up, and then we're headed to the show. All right, we are pulling in, see some fantastic cars. The way Gilmore is set up, you have to go around the entire property to get in, uh, almost like a spiral. So, I've already had a chance to see around as I was pulling in here. There are some really cool cars here. By the way, shout out AG Products, Dave. You guys remember Dave, he's been on the channel plenty of times. All right, guys, we picked up Dave again. Um, Obviously, we saw his car out front. There, or your trailer. Yeah. So yeah. there are some amazing cars wow, here. Everything is is divided up into groups and sections. There's some more Audis. Yeah, more Audis. Now. Like I'm pretty surprised. So this is the ninth running of Deutschmark, and it's always been a low attendance for Audi. Yeah. And so we we Audi's always been like shoved in the corner. Uh, and I'm starting to see, and if you you know kind of pan the camera out, you can really see that there is a bigger turnout this year, which is kind of to fun. mind the sign. There are a whole yeah. bunch from behind the sign. <laughs> we were just talking about there's no there there's no reason for there not, not to be a whole bunch of them because the audi um uh, scene around here if you will is actually quite large yeah west we michigan some really amazing ones west michigan to lansing to kalamazoo where you guys mm -hmm. are you drive down the road and you always see audis yep. everywhere it's yep. just and this is a well-known show i mean it's almost in its 10th year running a decade of this going on uh and you you look around the show and it's it's massive i mean there's a couple hundred registered cars here yep it's just uh, it's weird that audi just doesn't show up but anyway yeah. um yes so it's it's a fun show regardless the grounds are amazing the yes. field is awesome to walk around and see everything yeah so which one's your favorite of the ones that we've seen so far uh, i mean there's a there's a there's a wide selection do we need to do a full lap audi? first oh geez um <laughs> any of them that stick out to you right now um I did. You know, th this has had way too much publicity. It's a great car, and it was the a R big. The, are you talking about the RS6 yeah, the or RS6, this specific it, one? No, no, just the RS6 in general. Like, I, I mean, everybody knows about it. You know, mm -hmm. Audi did a great job. Yes, they did. Um, but I am going to point right to uh, the, yeah, ah. yes, the RS7, the black on black. Now, did we see? Is this? Is that this is not the one that not... was on the run we were on. That one is right there. Oh so yes. There's yep. two black on black RS7s yep. here today, which is pretty cool. Now, the one thing I'll point out, for those of you who are not big Audi people, um, there's one thing that's disappointing to this. This is the comfort package, and I'm not a fan of the comfort package, because if you're gonna buy an RS, get the RS seats. I was about to say, it doesn't look... This was an option that Audi yeah. offered to people, and people would actually get the comfort package. Now, now I own an, uh, an Audi Q7. These are the exact same seats in my family grocery getter SUV. <laughs> so you have an RS with grocery getter family seats in it. It, just, right. it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, to me, this kind of goes down the down the grade a little bit. Can we talk about the? Yeah, those are that matches nice. the Huracan. Yeah, like I like those a lot. I like those a lot. Now we just need to paint them red on the one side, white on the other, and <laughs> oh, we might have a little might have a little copycat going on there. Yeah. I love these little TTs. TTs are fun little easy sports cars, nothing crazy, Classic. just just yeah. easy to rip around with. in and Yep. Yeah, How moddable a, is the base version of the TT? Can uh, you do a lot with it? You can put bigger turbos on it. I mean, that's mm -hmm. that's this is the 2.7 bi turbo, right? I think that's what it is. TT being twin turbo. It, yep. I'm pretty sure it is. Are they all manual, or do they make a couple of these in an automatic? Ooh, that's a that's a good question. That is, uh, if if anyone wants to leave any comments, 
uh, below uh, to let us know that if there's any, I mean, I'm an Audi guru, but I didn't really follow the TT all that well. I just never, I can't fit. <laughs> I'm way too big. <laughs> it's just not my cup of tea. Fun car though. I do yes. like these cars. Very. Yeah, that's gorgeous. This beauty like too, car. S7. Oh, see, now there's so, your RS seats right there. Yes. Yep. So, so for a comparison. The Recaros. And look how much more gorgeous that is. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, what a beautiful setup. The BBS yes. wheels. Yeah, the stance and everything is perfect. Yes. Yep, it's not overdone. It's not super clapped. It's not sitting on the ground. No. It looks great. Yeah. Probably drives great. Okay. Oh yeah. Well, it's got to drive oh. great because it doesn't have any negative camber. And then this this is darker than a British racing green. This what, is how would you? A wrap. Yeah, because I've seen him at a at a show before. Um, would you? This is, this is a wrap. Yeah, honestly, you, you can see him from, in the texture a little bit. It'll never come white. through on on camera, but you can see in the texture a little bit. Yeah, there's like a little bit of that orange peel vinyl. But I do. Yep. I'm digging the color. I'm digging the color. Oh, yeah, this is sweet. Well, the army green on black, he he kind of killed it with this, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this setup that he did. Army green's a good description. Yep. I was trying to figure out how to like an OD label green. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, we got B B five still here. That's oh, wow. Stance Nation right here. <laughs> holy, Negative camber and all. Holy crap. Two piece, three piece wheels. Two piece wheels. Yeah, this is pretty sweet. I love the carbon fiber. Look how, yeah, that's is. Says, look how long that runs to. Is it all the way to the front wheel? Man. Well? When you're standing, you know, on one end or the other, it almost looks like it hangs over. It is like dead on. Yeah. I'd be wow. so afraid to lower that with that much carbon fiber sitting right No there. kidding. One rock. No kidding. God, I'm getting flashbacks to look installing the... Oh, yep. that's sexy. Yes. Wow, that changes the whole look of that car. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, and the... I was about to say, and yeah. the, the carbon fiber wing up top too. Wow, that's sweet. Yeah. This thing's clean. Yep. Wow. Oh, look, the... Uh, Rare Audi S. <laughs> <laughs> it was getting up bad. It did. It got up bad. Hold on. Let's it's an S line, but it's yeah, it's got the S line badge and the steering wheel and the S line sure seats. Does. But it's the I don't know. You put an S badge on the back. <laughs> it's an A3. Someone's a little it's definitely an A3. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> this kind of stuff just makes me laugh. <laughs> oh, well, you can all... take. Ooh, APR. Yeah. So they don't make this anymore, oh, by the way. Let me get out of the light here because that's shiny. Yeah, they don't make that anymore. So whoever bought that is lucky because uh, if that breaks, you're not finding another one. Yeah? Nope. APR stopped making that. Wow. For the Audi. Did they re I was about to say, did they replace it with something? I or don't think just... so. I, I, I don't think so. Yeah. I've been looking online for a while. I couldn't find anything. I have uh, a very soft spot in my heart for the B5 A4 yeah. S4. It was my very first Audi, mm -hmm. and I finally switched from being a GM lover to becoming a German <laughs> okay. car lover. And this is what did it in for me. I bought it. I wasn't sure about it, and when I started driving it, it was over from there. And mm -hmm. now I own everything Audi in my driveway. So this is the all, car that did it. Yeah, in. Now I didn't have these stickers. <laughs> these are the, how, man. How much horsepower do you think this is? A hundred. All it's of like the twenty horsepower. stickers. All of the horsepower. That's like, it's like five stickers or four, five horsepower per sticker. It's like now twenty we're not stickers. Not fun of anybody, but it is that. I mean, you get that when you do that. Yeah. Oh, the B5s, man. What you know, a great car. This is what I love about the car community, though, honestly, is that is that everybody has their own style, their own thing yeah. that they like to do, want to do. Um, and there's so many different flavors there. I give, I, you know what I say about the car community is you buy a car and it's your blank canvas. Mm -hmm. And it, you're kind of like, you do what you want to do. It's yeah. how you speak, how you uh, speak in the car world. Absolutely. Yeah, it's putting that Absolutely. stuff on there. Yeah. Oh my God. Look at that. Oh. That's definitely right. Oh. But speaking of that's that's a, it. That's a color. Look at that. Okay. Wow. And check out the wheels. How you guys doing? Good. Very well. This is you, huh? Yeah, it's me. Oh. Wow. Wow, man. Love the wheels. Thank I'm, you. A, I'm a B6 man. I love my B6s. Dude. Yeah. I, 2000, I traded this 2005? in 2005? 04. 04. I traded this in for. The German vanity plate? No, I traded my B7 in for this. Oh, uh, is, yeah. Now, yeah. I see cool water on the front. Is that the name? Is, is that the the, what name. they. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Club name. Gotcha. That's awesome, man. I don't I know love the player. old. Classic Michigan plate. Oh I, I I miss these. Oh, I so used it is an '85. We used to see these all the time in the in the Michigan area. Just the blue on or white on blue. Loved it. Yeah, this you won't see this car. Not only will you not see this car, but you won't see it in this condition. Yeah. Like you'll see it in a junkyard barn find condition. You won't find it in this condition at all. 
No, it's so beautiful. It's, it's got 69,000 miles on 85. 85, wow. Then really on the inside even, super clean. Oh my God. Super clean. Wow. Yeah, you won't ever find, you won't ever see a car like this in this condition, unless it's like down south. The back, super clean again. Wow. I always liked these these door handles with the little little lever action on the door handle. And then we're not gonna skip over the R8. <laughs> yeah, Jim's, Jim's R8 is really nice. Pay respect to, wow, <laughs> it's an R8. It's I, an R8. I love what people do with the <laughs> with uh, with license plates. That's half the fun of looking at cars for me. Beauty, absolute beauty. That looks familiar. Mm hmm. Sure does. Very familiar. Yeah. I love that that you just get this gigantic pain of of carbon just fiber with carbon. these. Everything carbon. Wow. What what, what does he have the, the radar detector for? I don't know why you would use that. <laughs> <laughs> like car goes fast. Yeah, and this one we recognize. This one ran with us when we did. Oh yeah. Ah, yes, with the with the open hood. Yeah. Loved it. Oh, oh man. Hey. Speaking of old. Oh yeah. That's my old. And look at the flake in this. My goodness. Crazy. This one is kind of practical town. I know that's coming through on camera. Oh, it is. It almost has a, a purplish hue to it from a distance, and yeah. blue from other angles. I love it. I always like stuff that kind of color shifts a little yep. bit. Uh, yeah, I know Sean's, awesome. Sean's old wrap on his Ferrari had had that. Had to film this. Love these old combis. And every single one of them gets customized by the owner. It's their own thing. And I love seeing what some people have come up with. I think that's a Go Westy sticker. If I remember correctly, I know very little, but I can appreciate them from a distance, from aesthetics, from build, all that stuff. Just not up to date on the mechanicals things. Still a super cool car. And I know there are a bunch of others here. So guys, I have no words for this other than that this is one of the most fun and interesting cars that I have seen. Three left their hood, unpainted, chalk out, and of course we had to, I, no, I'm not an artist, so don't give me crap for this, <laughs> but I had, to, I had to throw the logo on there because can't miss a chance to advertise, but what a fun idea. Now this caught my eye, look at that. I don't know the first thing about it, but I can appreciate it. So it said 914, 17, 72 914. Really pretty. Love it, love it, love it. Check out the murdered out R8. Also one plug for the Gilmore tonight. Stay for the Spasmatics that concert. They are going to be awesome and wonderful worthy. on then that big stage on the northwest corner of the property. So come check Beautiful. the Spasmatics from Chicago and Just October fest. I said it before. Overnight. I love side blades here. Full carbon fire. Just beautiful cars. This is cool. Official pace car. Indy 500. Not necessarily a German car. Pontiac. But I dig it. I dig it. Those are some interesting wheels too. Look at that. Pretty cool. Definitely don't see anything like that nowadays. Very, very, very neat. I wonder whether this gets driven at all. I don't know whether it belongs to a museum or private owner or what. The open wheel bug. Hell yeah. Oh, nice. And his trailer. That's awesome. Ridiculous. <laughs> he smelled those up. Amazing. <clears throat> These have got to be an absolute blast. <laughs> love it. Love it, love it. And the giant wheel. Heck yeah. 
67 bug. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And the sardine can roof. <laughs> Would love to see this on the road. An SL63 AMG. All the 63s are just amazing cars. There actually might even be a C63 Black Series around here. I know the owner is here. I don't know whether he brought it out. I know he's here with his uh, GTS. We might see that in a little bit. Love this. No separation between the front and back windows. Honestly, I wish Sean was here. So I'd be really curious whether that changes anything and how you work on the glass. It's probably one of those jobs that he would absolutely nope out of. <laughs> At least for the back ones. Front ones probably change like any other window. But I mean, there's no back door on this. Cool. Very cool. Let's see, it's a CL500. Very nice. 300 SEL. This looks like a chauffeur's car. It looks like there's a ridiculous amount of space back there. Eh, maybe not. Maybe just really deep seats. Bet you it's comfortable as all hell. So guys, hold the camera out. Had to film this. BMW race bike. Beautiful. Love to see this out on the road. Saw this guy coming in actually. He's even got a matching helmet. Love it. So 2018, about 6,000 miles on it. Awesome, 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 awesome. Love the throwback look that it has. So guys, it is now 11.30. The show has been going on for about three hours now. There are still cars rolling in at this point. That line stretches way down back there and just more cool stuff coming in. Picking up all the stragglers, the gates closed down at, at 12. Another the GTS, beautiful, beautiful. So we've got at least two of those here. I can I can only imagine. So it goes down quite a ways back there and still wraps around. The line's got to be quite something even now. So there's a lot more to come. All right, guys, CGT is not to be ignored. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous interior, gorgeous design, wicked car. Wicked car. 13,000 miles on it, 2005. Actually right in the area. Hickory Corners, Michigan. Beautiful. We'll not see many of these out on the road, that's for sure. Let's see if we can get a look at the back. Love the open back here. Just gorgeous. So, Scotty says, what year do you think that bike is? Uh-huh. I said mid-70s. <laughs> yeah. Just because I know what panels right, it, look like. Right, and it looks like and that, right? And I know right? what motor displacements look like in the 70s. Yep. And exhaust. Yep. So, we're going to go take a look, and I don't know what year it is, but he said, he got excited, and he said, well, let's go walk this way. So, he's up to something. I don't I've, know what it is. I filmed a little... A little bit of it. So, oh, so, so we're gonna put it either either before or after. Oh, yep. Okay. I'm gonna say. No, 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 like, no, sorry, not not this one. This one. That that one. Yep. Okay. Well, a little bit newer technology then. Yep. But still has a very classic. I mean, the rounded look in the front and the back. Yeah, dude. Well, I don't. I have no idea. What year is it? 2018. 2018. 2018. <laughs> no brand. Way. No. No way. <gasps> it is. No joke. No joke. What? <laughs> I, I'm, Say it again. I said it. Say it again. God, man. Because I'm so true to my brand. Uh huh. But BMW, hands down, yep. fight me. You're not going to win. Nope. Makes the best OEM wheel on the market. Yes, sir. Hands down. Yes, sir. No Lamborghini, they just look mean. no they Ferrari. Look, they look gorgeous. Nothing but nope. better than yeah. yeah. And yeah. I don't know why. Like I feel like I feel like companies nowadays should like copy. OEM should be should be fighting. Look at the 20 years. Automakers, please go and no look kidding. at the last 20 years no of kidding. BMW wheels and go, we're doing something wrong. Because if I could convert and I could move a uh, BMW wheel to my mm -hmm. Audi, I'd mm -hmm. do an RB. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Hello, beautiful. Alpina. Is it an Alpina? Yep. Oh. 2003 Z8 Alpina. Wow. 
Yeah, yeah, understandably. This just gets me all tickled. <laughs> <laughs> guys, back home again. That concludes this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, got to cut this one early because I am heading down to the shop to go work on the Gallardo some more. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe. Hit that bell so you get notifications and know when our videos go up. We're trying to upload a little bit more regularly, do at least one video a week. It can be a little bit difficult with everybody's day job, including Sean's. But regardless, thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.